So I'm delighted to meet Sean from The Chase. Sean, um, you're at the Brentford v Tottenham Hotspur game today. I certainly am today. Yeah, I'm not at Chelsea Liverpool today because the reason why I'm here is because my best friend uh, Chris Sweeney is a die-hard Tottenham fan. So um, I'm taking him here to this game today to see whether or not uh, Spurs can actually uh, pick up three points. Which I'm your, th out. your thoughts on the Harry Kane sale? Um, I'm disappointed that he's left actually. Um, I really didn't want him to actually stay for a year because what I was hoping he would do is stay for a year and basic no. I didn't want him to go to Chelsea yeah, wow. to basically say to, um, if you want me to stay at Spurs for the rest of my career guess what pay me a signing on fee right and pay me the decent wage what I'm worth because as I say that man has been a legend for Spurs do you yeah. think do you think Spurs are going to reinvest that money I think they will but you see the problem is that once the clubs know that you've got £100 million pounds, the premium yeah. goes up in relation to strikers so you know hopefully um, they can find uh, a fairly decent striker for about £50-60 million pounds. Uh, but they've got three weeks in which to do it what do you think would be a good season for Tottenham? Europe, sixth. Yeah. You think it's capable? Uh, I think it's capable. capable. You know why? Because uh, Austin Coglu is a brilliant manager. Okay, he's not had premiership experience, but he's managing the Australian national team. Uh, he won five trophies out of six in uh, two years at Celtic, and I think he's a manager to be respected. Your manager, Pochettino, of yep. course, was a Spurs fan's favourite. Yeah. What do you make of his appointment? Um, I think it's going to be a positive because uh, Pochettino is uh, renowned for actually bringing in young players. He did a fantastic job at Southampton for two years. Spurs had the best young team in Europe. Uh, you know, he took them uh, as far as he could to in 2019 to the Champions League final, which, as I say, personally speaking, I, if Harry Kane was a bit less selfish, I think they would have won that because he was not fit enough to play in that final. No way. What would be a successful season for you? Uh, a successful season for us if we finish in the top six. Score prediction today, Tottenham Brentford? Uh, two all. Four. Two all? Yeah. Sean, thank you so much, and My hopefully pleasure. we'll get you back on the Spurs Chat podcast when Spurs meet Chelsea. Absolutely. In November. Cheers. Come on, you Spurs.